Hi guys, this is Jack and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be starting a playthrough of a new game called Draugen that is getting rave reviews for having a really awesome storyline. Draugen is a first person psychological mystery set in Norway in 1923. You play as Edward Charles Harden, an American traveler who's come to Norway to find his missing sister. But you're not alone. Every step of the way, Edward's accompanied by his ward, Lissy, a gregarious, in independent, and enigmatic young woman. This game does have some heavy themes including murder and even suicide, so please keep that in mind. Now I was given this game by the devs, so if you're interested in playing Draugen for yourself, check the link in the description to pick it up for yourself on Steam. And if you enjoy seeing videos like this one on the channel, be sure to leave a comment down below to let me know. This is Draugen. Day one. The water's cold. It's a fjord. You're not going swimming. Boo. You're such a wet blanket, teddy bear. You know I don't like it when you call Edward. me- Edward. Edward Charles Harden, Esquire. Will you promise to behave on land? Don't I always? Lissy, promise. Well, piffle and phonus balonus, Teddy. You ought to know better <laughs> than to ask. All right. Yes, I'll behave. I'll be a proper young lady. I shan't run or find things or laugh too loud or call anyone old man. Aside from you. All right. So, She's like the comedy you relief. Find your Betty in. Uh, what did you call this village? Gravewick? 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 Okay, oh, let's see. So I can choose, like, what my character's gonna say. Grovik. Yes, I do. Why here? What's so special about Gravewick? She never said. But knowing my sister, something drew her here. But how can you know? I just do. In her letter, she wrote about... But that's months ago. She could have gone anywhere. Without writing or telegraphing her editor in New York, she wouldn't do that. Betty's... Oh, the cat's pajamas, the bee's knees, little Miss Perfect. Alice, oh, jeez. You're talking about my sister. 1920s lingo. I'm sorry. Elizabeth's a darb. We all love her dearly. And Teddy Bear. Edward. We will find her. Betty's fine. Why, we'll see her as soon as we get to shore. She'll shower you with kisses and berate you for coming all this way from Hanover, Massachusetts to the middle of positively nowhere Scandinavia way. Just chase no her way. down. <laughs> Everything will be Jake, old fruit. Everything will be Jake. Alrighty. Is that it? Is that Groove Woke? Groove Woke. She, so she says something different every time. And beautiful. And so desolate. That is actually really cool like looking. Place built for ghosts. Ghost. Finally. Damn it, Lissy. I don't think I could do this for much longer. You're gonna curse us or something. Can you row any faster? I'm getting frightfully bored. Uh, you could take over. How so about you take over, Alice? What? <laughs> <laughs> you slay me, nice. Teddy, old bee. Was that thunder? Still distant. The boat will be in safe harbor by the time the weather arrives. So you say. But I say put your back into it. Because we're sitting ducks out here. Quack, quack. Oh, jeez. All right. Get to shore, old boy. This guy is like as slow as like an old man or something. So What's the deal? Where is everyone? Probably working. I know it's a foreign concept to you, but that's something normal people do. Hardy har har. The Fretland farm is up the hill somewhere. Up where? Point. Oh, cool. I believe it's that farmhouse. All the way at the top. This Hot game dog. looks incredible. Hold on. Let me read the letter from Mrs. Fretland first. I'll meet you up there, old sport. I want to explore. Last one's a skunk's tail. Be careful. The ground's muddy. You could slip and fall. I'll see you in two shakes. This little girl's trouble. You can tell. Dear Mr. Harden. We would like to extend an invitation to visit our home. 
trouble to hear of your sister's disappearance. No news to share. You'll find our farm on top of the hill. I hope I got that right. Look forward to seeing you here in October. Yours faithfully, Anna Fretland. Anna Fretland. Well, I'm here. Where are you? Did you make it to Grovik, Betty? <laughs> and why did you pick this forlorn hole under the mountains? Intense. What? German? Teddy, are you coming? I'm almost there. On my way. Right oh. Step to it, teddy bear. Frederick Fretland and Son. This is pretty cool little area, but it's real eerie. Really kind of eerie. Ooh, Draugen. Draugen. I don't know. I feel like I'm saying it like I'm German, but I don't think it's German. In fact, I know it's not German. It's Norwegian. The game looks beautiful, though. It's super cool. Got themselves a little water mill. I can't sprint by the way guys. No sprinting. Just walking uphill. Seventeen. Nor are you seventy. Put some spring into your step, old sport. Did you see the flag? It's at half mast. Someone died. So this is it, huh? Nice digs. But seriously, where is everyone? Perhaps everyone's indoors. The rain's picking up. You first, old bean. Hello? Anyone there? Mr. Fretland? Mrs. Fretland? This is Edward Charles Harden, the American. We've exchanged letters. Maybe they went on holiday and left the door open. Give it a shake and a rattle. I can't just barge into their home. It's not a crime if you're invited. It's a good point. I'm coming in. This is... Uh, this is Mr. Harden. Hello? Is anyone home? This house is as empty as a bird's nest in December. Hey, you want to check out the upstairs? Hello? Hello? Hmm. Told you. Empty is an empty nest. Well, I didn't want to go upstairs anyway. Um. This is the kitchen. Hello? Anyone there? Kitchen. That's a no. As I was saying. <laughs> well, I didn't want to go upstairs anyway. It's creepy. <clears throat> oh, this is nice. Charmingly rustic. The Boston Beaumont would pay a pretty penny for this setup. I what do we got over here? Different. Little picture. This is almost like an American home. It's like family. People, Little girl. Thanks, All right. 
books. The books are all in English. Isn't that a bit odd? Mrs. Fretland is Scottish, though she grew up in Alvesund. Have you been secretly communicating with Johann's winsome wife, Edward Dearest? Certainly not. She was the one who wrote me, because Mr. Fretland's English isn't as... I was only joking. Lighten up, old sport. Don't be such a pill. Look! Yeah, come on, Edward. Family Don't pictures. be a pill. They must be the... Uh, what did you call them? No, I already looked at the picture. We got here. Little book? What's on the tip of my tongue? Let's pick that up. What are you looking at there? A book. Strange place for a book. Unless it was a terrible mm. book that deserved a good burning. Burned the title? book. The cover is charred. Christmas 1922. To Ruth. From Simon. Why would someone burn this? Like I said, maybe it was a terrible book. Is Simon one of the Freddy Landers? I don't think so. They only have the one daughter. All right. What else have we got? Anything else? Gone? The Fretlands. The Fretlands, the Hansons, the Jensens, all of them. I'm sure we have here. Too. Okay. It's like a dead land. Though its soul has departed. Picture. Well, those boys look proud as peacocks. What does it say there? Groovy? Grubin. The mine. Maybe that's where everyone is. Digging for precious jewels in the Stygian abyss. From what I learned of this place during the brief stay in Olesund, the iron mine shut down 20 years ago. Newspaper clippings. Okay. Johan Fretland exits Fretland Brothers Mining Company. So the brothers parted ways? Johan sold his share to focus on farming. Well, that must have put a damper on their relationship. Foreign investors out of Frederick Fretland's Mining Company. I think Dire I'm going out of order, but consequences for Fretland. we'll come back to it. Who must have had a difficult time after his brother Johan Fretland pulled out earlier this year. Johan was smart to exit when he did. The timing is curious. Like he knew something was about to go okay. awry. Oops. Uh, go back. Let's read that last one. Actually, it was like the middle one. Tragic accident befalls the Fretland Brothers Mining Company. What happened? The mine collapsed, killing three workers. Oh, okay. Arne Fretland, Frederick and Johan's younger brother. That's awful. Mining accident. Uh... 19. Operations were suspended after the accident. Hmm. All right. Ah! Oh, God. Betty. What? Have you like a mannequin? Jesus, scared me. That's not Betty. Her That's. Scarf. I'd know it anywhere. It doesn't look like anything to me. It she just bought it looks in like... Bloomingdale's the Christmas before last. When she came home that year, she showed it off, dancing around the sitting room until I got dizzy watching her. I think you're misremembering. She couldn't make it home that year. Again. No, I'm. You're wrong. I'm sure she was there. Whatever. The hell? Uh, Look, it is her scarf. It even smells like her perfume. Shalimar. But what if that's She's not... She's here. I'm finally going to find her. That's... That's great, Edward. Really. I... I wouldn't want you to get your hopes up. I mean, where's everyone gone to? Something's not right, I'm telling you. Uh-oh. Teddy? Edward, what's wrong? I... Lightheaded, that's all. You're having another spell. You know what happens when you exert yourself. Weird. Anything else? Sit down. That's an order from your commander. Yes. Fine. I just need to... to catch my breath. Just for a moment. I want you to lie down. Lie down and close your eyes. It's been a strenuous day. What with the rowing and the dragging of the suitcase up the hill. Well, what if the Fretland... I'll keep an eye out. 
I promise. If they come home, I'll wake you. Now, lie down, close your eyes, breathe deeply. I'm just going to... Shh. Uh oh. What's gonna happen? Elizabeth? Is that you? Betty? Lissy. Betty's a mannequin. Lissy, are you here? <laughs> Where are you? Where are you, Lissy? Lissy! Hello? Oh, hey, who's there? The heck? Betty? Oh gosh, guys. Elizabeth. Wait! Lissy, there's someone outside. It, it might be Betty. Are you here, Lissy? Uh Let's do it. Let's go. Who's out there? Hello? Betty? Lissy? What do we got here? I'm not alone. That doesn't look like any kind of footprint. It looks like an animal. A bear. Oh, here we go. I can hear you. Betty? Alice? We're going for guys. Oh. Who goes there? Wait! What? Alice, where are you? Oh. Someone there? I'm over that. Are you out there, Betty? This fog is... Oh! Hello? A goat! You gotta be kidding me. Betty, is that you? Are you there, Betty? Oh! Well, sliding. Get your glasses on, Edward. Elizabeth, are you there? Can you hear me? This isn't creepy at all. A rock? What is that? A cage? Where are you? The heck is this? The boat, Edward. Where's our boat? Lissy. The heck did she come from? Came out of nowhere. Where did you go? Why did you leave me? It stopped raining and you were sleeping and our boat, it's gone. The boat what? How? Maybe you didn't secure it properly. I pulled it up. I don't know. I thought I tied it securely, but... Did you see Betty? Did I see... What are you talking about? I think... Betty... It was Betty. I... It was her. It must have been her. I saw her face in the window, and... And she vanished into the dark, towards the sea. You really didn't see anyone. I haven't seen a single soul. 
Are you sure it was her? And yes. Not. I. I mean, I saw her face and it looked like her. Well, if it was her, why did she run away? I don't. I don't know. Uh, it's getting dark. Back to the house. And tomorrow. Tomorrow's another day. Teddy bear. We'll figure it out. Right now, let's get you cleaned up. Look at you. You've got mud all over yourself. And then you really need to sleep. You must be exhausted. Come on. All right, guys. So that's episode one. Be sure to let me know in the comments what you think and hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed the episode. Uh, tune in probably in a day or two for the next episode. Bye-bye.